I'm Lori Dockendorf. Uh, and I'm Kayla Dockendorf. Um, we own my house and I, Steve Dockendorf, and I own Dockendorf Dairy. And we've been on that dairy farm for 19 years. And when we started there, we had 35 cows. And we slowly built it up and made some changes. And as time went on, we had two many cows for our facility. So we started looking into parlors, but the cable cost the whole lot. And we thought the whole lot were a very, very uh, good thing. So we did about uh, three years worth of research on it and built our barn. We started up in, it in August of 2011. I have been with the farm the entire 19 years we've been there. And as it's gone on, I've helped more and more with things as the children grew older and I had more time to be outside. And now that we have the robots, I do more of the management part than what I used to do. And I'm able to work on the farm and do the things on the farm. Steve needs to be on to do field work or um, him and the boys go say to a farm fest or something. And I'm able to be there. I'm able to work on it and do just about everything on my own. If he's busy and it needs to be that way. So, um, I now I attend Concordia College in Moorhead. So I'm a sophomore there, so I've been there for two years. Um, when I come home, I go out and help the shore sometimes, just like normal. Uh, my goal to, is to be a physical therapist eventually. I plan on graduating Concordia with an undergrad in biology, and then I will continue, hopefully, to the U of M to finish my graduate degree. Um, I think a big push for what I do has come from being a farmer and from what I've done. Uh, if, if I would not have grown up on a farm, I don't think I would have like have as good of a work ethic as I do. Um, it's a big push for how I get everything done that I do and my parents are excellent role models. I definitely look to them for guidance a lot. As time has gone by and we started with the robots, I am able to keep track of the cows and manage them much better than what I used to do. My husband used to do so much of that himself. And I would, I would help along, but now I know it better on my end. I can look at each and every cow. I do come in there, like into the robot room and into the office, and I check the computer myself as well as Steve. But he always likes it if I come in there and I check too because sometimes I see things that he doesn't necessarily see. But I I do more of keeping track of the dry cows now than what I used to. You know, like who needs to be dried up, who needs to be moved, things of that nature because Steve focuses, you know, a lot on some of the other things more so. So, um, but I, I've become a bigger part of the farm in this way because the work isn't quite as physical, you know, because I'm, I'm not, not a very strong person <laughs> physically wise, so I just can't wait to, you know, handle the cows in that fashion. So with the robots, it's easier to handle the cows, it's easier to work with them, it's easier to diagnose and treat and make decisions on them. enjoy being in the dairy industry. There's so much opportunity out there for everyone. Um, we enjoy being able to spend time with our family, to work with our family, to, you know, to work and play and relax with our family. We do everything that way. And Steve and I spend a lot of time together and it has brought us very close. And there's, there's just so much opportunity out there in the dairy industry. And so many people to meet and, and uh, so many things that, that can be done. So we enjoy, we're just proud to be part of it and proud to be, you know, 
with this changing industry, it's, it's amazing the changes that are happening in the industry these days. One thing you know when you're a dairy farmer is that you ought to work in the morning, you're doing honest work. To be affiliated with that kind of with that kind of a thing is something you just can't get everywhere. Uh, like you're, we're here today at the World Dairy Expo and all these people you see around you, we're all here for like one purpose and that is in overall to feed our country. Um, you wake up in the morning and you go outside and yeah, I mean it's a lot of work but you, you walk out the door and you just, I don't know, like you're up with the sunrise and like there's just something so pure about what you're doing and I've never gotten that feeling from anything else. And when you can work with your family as much as we have and you still love being around each other, that just solidifies your relationship like so much. I I don't think I'd be this close to my family I would be as if we weren't a farming family.